How's everybody doing? In today's video, I'm showing my 20 gallon high uh, planted orange shrimp tank. So I'm gonna talk a little bit on what I do with this tank and how it's doing. So you can see up front, there are a few shrimp up here that have a nice orange color. Uh, a few of them aren't gonna be as uh, orange. They may need uh, to kind of go through this tank and reselect the nicest colors. To improve the color over time but I'm growing some java fern lace and moss in this tank a uh, little note on over here I have the moss growing on like a ping pong ball so that's tied down some fishing line to that pot and it floats up there to kind of give more height to the tank uh, I recently pulled some moss off to spread around so it's a little uh, bare up front but moss grows the best when it's not being moved around so whenever you're doing your water changes, if you're working on having a planted tank and you want to do some low light plants or moss, uh, the less that moss moves around, gets tumbled or turned upside down, it's really going to settle in and do a lot better. So this is initially um, super glued to a rock at the bottom of the tank. So that kind of keeps it from moving. And once it does grow, it's going to be so dense that it's not going to go anywhere and it's gonna continue to grow and get uh, very, very thick. But if you're gonna fill your tank up and it's gonna get removed from the bottom and turn into circles and uh, not stay in a clump, it's not gonna really stabilize and grow as well for you. But along with the moss, I already showed some of these shrimp, but the way I breed the shrimp, I give these guys maybe a 30 to 50% water change. Uh, Closer to 40, I'd say. I'd never really go any lower than halfway down the tank. And that's because the shrimp don't like a huge water change. Uh, just like fish, they want a consistent uh, parameters, but they're not going to give up a whole lot of waste. So to do a large water change is unnecessary. Uh, I do have some fishing here. You can see my German Blue Ram uh, does really well in the planted tank and his colors are very vibrant. And I also have some uh, fancy guppies in here that have babies so feeding them flake food things like that they're going to feed on it and anything that sinks to the bottom will be a nice soft food for the shrimp to feed on uh, along with the uh, flake foods i do feed these guys a uh, algae wafer they're kind of feeding up there up front i tossed two in here before i started the video uh, there's one up here that fell on the plant and they're already smelling that food and going to it so whenever I do feed these guys, I try to feed them once or twice a day. Um, feed for how many shrimp or fish you have in the tank. Uh, there's not really a rule of thumb of saying one way for a day or half a way for you kind of have to judge off of how many shrimp or fish you have. And whenever you feed food, see what's left the next day. If there's too much food left over, uh, you want to kind of net that out and uh, keep uh, lowering the amount of food. And if it's gone by the end of the night, say you feed them in the morning and there's no food left, you know you kind of up that intake. So hopefully those are some helpful tips. Um, it's really not that hard to breed the shrimp. You just need to give them time. These guys, I'll be honest, they probably didn't breed for me for about six to nine months, but I really wasn't trying. I kind of forgot about them. And within a short period of time, this tank went from having uh, I believe eight shrimp that were like babies that I had uh, into now hundreds of shrimp. You can see there's all different sizes. There's some babies on the front. Um, there's some males. Uh, I can't spawn any right now, but there's lots of buried females in here as well. But a little update on the planted tank, uh, how to help you grow moss. Really just don't do much. And whenever you do uh, mess around the tank or add water, or do a water change, make sure that it doesn't move, you wanna have it secured on something. And with the shrimp, you wanna feed them those uh, algae wafers and make sure they have lots of hiding places. So they can go all the way into this moss and they kinda of have like a little cave system where they can go through this moss, they can have their babies. Uh, there's a lot of food and mom that gets trapped beneath the moss and the babies can feed off of that. But there you have it guys. Hopefully that was helpful and you enjoyed this tank. Uh, it's very low maintenance, uh, it's run off a sponge filter, the room is heated, and I have a little eLive um, LED light on it, and everything's doing well.
Uh, if you want to find any of those products or foods, I'll put them in the description. But uh, thank you guys and stay tuned for the next video.